Hello everyone. So let's start today. So today we will discuss about SAC training program. Okay. So welcome to all members. Okay, and students uh, for SAC training. So let's start. Okay. So today we will discuss about a story. So what do you mean by story and how it used? Okay, to analyze the data in a SSC. Okay, so let's we will discuss today. So let's start. So we will already we have a uh, login into SSC uh, system. You can see here. This is we, we have a user ID. Okay, already we have a login into SSC. So let's double click in left panel. You will see so many options will be available. Home, file, story. Okay, so let's we will click on story. Just double click. Okay, now. So now what is a story basically? So welcome uh, okay, to story. So what do you mean by story basically? Story is a visualized way of your data. Okay, summarize, explore, and monitor your data. You can add a chart, table, text, and other objects. Okay, to analyze your data. It's a very simple way. Okay, for any organization or any business. Okay, so you can create a story in four ways. Either you can create a responsible canvas, grid, and from our data discovery. Okay, even we will have a multiple templates here. If you want to use an existing template to create your story, you can use any. Okay, like uh, my article story, we have templates, autoplay, and dashboard templates. So many we have okay, more options are available. You can select anyone. Even we have a recent here a story temp okay available here. You can choose any or you can see what are the like recent or if you have any uh, like things, okay. You can use that, okay, or you can check it. So this is how basically the story and so basically story okay uh, will create a based on the top of of your uh, model okay or any other data sources so we will show you how we can uh, create a okay two story so here we are going to create the story for visualize your business data to easy way you can uh, visualize and summarize way okay if you need you can add your chart okay table and all so today we will discuss here the numeric point chart okay if you want to use or you want to add a numeric point chart in your story then how we can use that okay so let's go ahead so let's we are creating here story okay with a responsible template click on this link okay now you can see there is a two way you can create a story either optimize design experience or classic so we'll go for the classics why because all the features and functionality will already use in SAC. That's why we are using. Okay, then you can optimize way if you want to use a first option. Okay, that is optimized design experience. You can use it. So for now, I am using a classic design experience. Select this and click create. Now, okay. Now you can see. Okay, uh, this is uh, like a page. You can see page one. Okay, you will see if you have a multiple, you can add multiple pages. Okay, page, page here. Okay, so this is a single page, and there is two partition. You can see it is it has two partition. You can make it two three. Okay, a partition as well or single partition. If you want to remove it, you can just right click here. You can remove this partition. Okay, if you want to add anything, see left, right. Okay, above. Okay, you can copy. You can add it style if you want. Okay, so do you can do it. Okay, even you can here you can see. If you want to add uh, some text, okay, image, okay, or shape or any hyperlink, if you want to, if you let's see, if you want a a dynamic some text, okay, you can see here, you can check it here, okay, like what dimension you want, okay, so anything, you know, see, let's see, all you will have all the options like current date, creator, okay, tab name, okay, so username, let's see, I'm using here, okay, username. Okay, if you want anything, use a time or date, you can put it select here and click click here. See, it is giving okay your to user ID and your to the date. Okay, so this is how okay you can add it. Okay, so now let's okay we will go to add a numeric point chart. So how we can do it? Okay, so let's see here. You will see insert here chart. 
click here insert see it will ask before inserting anything it will ask you where is your model where is your data okay so either to existing model or sap data warehouse cloud article data set so where is your so let's see i am using a exist model if you choose first one it will ask okay you can just select your all model so all model will be here on my file okay so now you can select your model which you earlier created so let's see here we have earlier created the model name this one test sale 19 april okay just select this one. okay now okay see it is available here you can see okay so now you can see here okay see this is your basically we have a insert okay so now okay we have inserted here okay your my new new model i mean uh, earlier existing model okay so let's see here you can see we have multiple options here okay we will discuss linked analysis later you can add here okay threshold reference tool tips okay so many options are there we will show you day by day okay even you can see your mobile is enabled okay even you can see so and hide this okay so even you call we have a collapse title even you can copy this duplicate you can if you want to make it duplicate you can make it even add it a style if you have any okay if you make it full screen you can do it full screen see it is full screen okay you can see this is a full screen so this is how if you just uh, again click just full screen so like this so we will have a view okay pin to home okay remove you want to remove this you can remove it so this is how we can have a multiple options okay here okay so let's select this style okay if you want if you okay, see here you will if you want some subtitle okay you can put some title here even if you want something okay so you can put it anything okay what were the options here okay so let's okay now we'll go for designer okay click on designer okay now build builder is here okay now here you can choose your chart okay structures are given here like comparison tend distribute okay wherever you use the chart you want let's here i would like a numeric point chart okay click on this under indicator you will see numeric point chart okay once uh, click this chart you will see here major value primary value and secondary value okay so let's i i want to add a primary value okay see here we will either you can use quantity and sales okay or you can create a calculation so let's i am going to create a calculation okay so let's i am creating a calculated measure here so you can add as per your requirement restrict your measure you can aggregations differences okay so let's i am going to a calculate measure so let's if you let's see sales so automatically sales will come here okay when quantity whatever the key figure available it will come so let's here only two quantity available in existing model okay so i am choosing a cell here so what i did okay let's see i am going to okay summation of this cell okay so let's i am going to here okay and this is the calculations we applied okay and you can check just format yes valid formula now you can put it here okay so let's see i am giving some name here sum of sales okay or summation of sales okay so just this is the name of this calculations calculated key figure i have given here okay just what i did just i am going to add the twice like uh, same okay or if you want you can okay calculate it okay depend upon the requirement okay so let's okay so let's this is okay so i am going to format yeah this is valid format okay name okay, okay. So now you can see summation of your sales. See, this is a summation. Whatever the sales are there. See, if you want to check the data of summation, see this is the sales data. Okay, we have so all the data. Okay, you can see here. Okay, so this is a summation of this data. Okay, we have it. Okay, so whatever the data of the summations, you will see the summation of sales data. Okay, so. So this is the way. Okay, if you want to add uh, some colors, okay, add threshold, you can add it. So let's I'll show you how to add the threshold here. Okay, let's click here. Okay, you can 
create threshold okay so let's i'm going to create a threshold here on the this is the model okay we are creating now you can select your measures okay on which measures you want to apply a threshold uh, okay so let's here multiples are there okay so let's i am going to summation of cells click this summation of cells here okay now automatic once you select automatically you can see number also okay comparisons are there so let's see range i'm selecting range okay now range okay okay so I'll put it here something of the value so so if you see here if you have some value let's see seven okay i'm giving eight thousand something value if you want to see here okay uh, there is so many much larger value available here so let's see whatever the let's see eight eight lakhs i'm giving here okay it not eight i'm giving eighty thousand okay to eighty lakh okay so see it is eighty lakh okay it is eight lakhs okay again okay warning okay 8 lakh to i am giving a 10 lakh okay so this is a 10 lakhs okay similar if you want a critical okay you can show 10 lakh to 12 lakh okay so this is what we have okay so whatever the value will come on this range so that color will be uh, so available so see, it is similar as a uh, back uh, exception okay in the, if you have an idea anything back uh, queries or something exception available so similar the highlighting the result basically okay so this is the way for a threshold okay you can apply here so so see this is a so if the value will come okay so automatically the highlight your okay so this is the way you can apply your threshold okay on your summation of the value of, uh, of your this uh, numeric uh, pointers okay even you will see here you can see if you want to apply any filters you can filter it here okay even see enable your some explorer you can enable it okay so, so see here automatically enable okay if you want enable you can enable it your explorer like this okay so this is come back okay let's i'm not going to save anything here okay so this is how okay see here enable everything here so let's come into the designer okay so this is the way okay we are doing here so let's okay so let's let's one second i'm back here come to the designer mode okay it is asking okay do you want to save yes let me save it first okay so whatever the changes you made okay let this is a story okay so let's i'm going to save this story I'm putting some name of like something okay 12 may story something you can put it into story okay put here some where okay where you want to save you can put here locations and my file okay so let's save this this one okay so whatever you did changes okay that would save them okay it is saved okay how we can check where it is saved go to here just double click here under file okay i have saved under file so go to there okay check here under okay under uh, my file we have saved that uh, name is there uh, okay so you can check here so where is that a uh, story we have saved so let's save here yes this is the story we have saved okay 12 may okay stories okay just double click again you will directly open your uh, whatever the stories okay now again if you want any changes okay on this you have to make it save it before going to leave this story okay or screen so just wait okay it is opening wait a minute so just double click on this sorry something some, some something wrong Okay, let me come here, select this. Okay, view mode. Let's see, you can open this view mode. Okay, so let's go back. Now we can just double click. Change something. Okay, 
okay something like happened okay that's the reason uh, it is yes okay so let me check basically what happened okay why it is not uh, opening so re let me re log in and uh, on this system basically sometimes okay it is happening okay so let me a re log into this SSC system. Yeah, so let's try one. Okay, so let's come into the story or uh, let's file. Okay, so on file, okay, under you will have a story. This is a story, just double click on this. Yeah, it is saying loading. Yeah, see, this is a okay. So whatever you have designed, okay, you can see the story would be here. Okay, if you see this is a view mode, okay, whatever the pages, okay, will be on this, it will be there here. Okay, see pages, one pages are there. Okay, if you want here full screen, you can make this, make it full screen. Okay, this is the option you can exit the full screen. Okay, this is the view mode. But if you want to edit something, you want to change on your, you can change it. Okay, even you can see the filters option, you can display in different like command mode or tab bar. We have a tool, multiple options are available. If you want to formula bar, you can see formula bar will be visible. Okay, so depend upon what are the options you want. See, edit, we have options. Okay, even file, you can save as a template. You can export this one. Even you can share it. Okay, wherever you want, you can share it. So this is the options we have it. Okay, so you can use okay while designing your template uh, stories. Okay, let's come into the here. Okay, uh, and the edit mode. Okay, just select this uh, particular numeric pointer. Okay, and design mode. Okay, now you can see here. Let's see here. Okay, see here you whatever you have selected, you will see here all the option will be available here. So depend upon uh, la, okay the requirement okay so this is the uh, way basically we can uh, design basically to your uh, numeric point okay so if you want to add if you want to add one more value you can add it definitely you can add it this is primary value if you want add let's say I want to add quantity you can add it see this is a quantity if you want to add a cell you can add it the cell as well so this is the how okay yeah, to use basically see if you want to let's say quantity okay i would like to some change anything so you just double click here you can display as or you want to rename or something you can do it okay if, if, even even if you just double click if you want okay something like uh, some 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 trace old okay you can add a trace old as well on the this particular value okay cell a quantity as well okay so here we can see a three value basically we have a summation of cells we have a quantity and we have a sales value okay so this is the way okay we can uh, say a uh, design or, or we can add your charts basically or numeric okay numeric point chart basically okay and you can edit it you can view it depend upon your requirement okay now if you whatever the did you can just uh, save before leaving Okay, just come into the data here. See, this is the look like see data. If you want to check the data here, dimensions, you can check it. But I would like to story here. So select this story and whatever did any changes on this. Okay, you have to save it. Okay, so this is how okay you can use this one. Okay, so once you you have to save it okay, before this. So this is we have a threshold. Even we can see we have a, a so many options are available so as per your requirement you can use these options okay this is how we can see to design your story basically okay so you can save this data okay so this is how we can design thank you for watching please like and comment if, if in case any doubt on this okay thank you very much for this watching this video